slide is more important for assistance or discipline. We're going to discuss different points of view, why they both need each other, how you can be consistent, and the rule of 1%. To start, I want to talk about this guy first. His name is Cristiano Ronaldo. If you don't know him, he's one of the best soccer players in the world. And he became a pro at a young age. But it wasn't easy for him. He lost his father. He, he didn't have money. But he made it to the pro level. And he, saw, he had talent to be average. He didn't have time to be one of the best of the world. But he had a goal in his mind. I want to be the best of the world. And he is one example of that because he worked hard for many years, applied consistency, discipline, and everything. Here I have this text from a site. Here they say that discipline is more important than consistency. They are giving an example of the ice cream. If you like ice cream, it takes a little effort to, to eat every night, so you're having consistency in eating ice cream. They are also saying that discipline requires consistency, but this is discipline being is more than inconsistency. And I not I not agree with the discipline. I agree with Zan. That consistency is about creating a habit, while disciplines are mine about to maintain the habit. So the other one is they gave the example of the ice cream, but nobody cares to a consistency in a low level like that. We are talking about consistency in high level. So when you talk about consistency in high level, for me it's more important than discipline. But they are both connected. They both meet each other. And here I can give you an example uh, you know, how consistency is more important to me. Because you can be disciplined without having consistency in a high level. But you can have consistency in a high level without being disciplined. Uh, and here are the key points to make you consistent. And they are discipline, hard work, and faith. So you need to be showing up every day. You have to be disciplined. And when you show up every day, you need to put hard work. You need to be working hard every single day. Otherwise, you're not going to reach the consistency in a high level that you want. And one of the most important ones, you need to have faith. Because in the journey, our journey is always going to pass for hard moments. We're going to struggle a lot. And when you have faith, this will be a lot easier. But when you don't have faith, uh, most of the time, we just, we just want to give up and and use this. And now, we, to, to have consistency in a high level, we can apply the rule of 1%. So, be a little bit better, 1% every day. Being today a little bit better than you were yesterday. So, continue improve, being consistent, improving a little bit. And here you have this coach from Jack Ma, that Jack Ma that I like so much, that is today is difficult, tomorrow is much more difficult. But the day after tomorrow is beautiful. Most people die tomorrow evening. So many times we are in our journey. Oh, it's so hard. I'm not going to make it. Okay, let's go one day. Oh, it's so hard. I'm not going to make it. And then they give up. They can't see anything. They can't see what is in the future. So they just give up because it's so hard. But the, sometimes they are just one step closer to reach what they want. What they want is the other, in the other side. The congratulations. The money, the first place, the sunshine. So sometimes you just need to keep going. <laughs> oh, Richard, so if I apply consistency, I can be a rapper I want, I can be a billionaire, uh, I can be the, the best soccer player in the world. I'm not saying that. That's why I want to say this other coach. Being, being consistent doesn't guarantee you to become successful. But not being consistent will guarantee you that you'll not become successful. So, Sometimes even if you being consistent on a high level, you're not going to reach what you want. But if you don't apply this consistency in a high level, it will be so hard to reach, uh, to reach your goal. So, we talked about example of consistency, two different points of view, connection of both, how to be consistent, the rule of 1%, and the codes. So, that's it. Be a little bit. Then you are yesterday, apply consistency on a high level, and that's it.